at Space LLC in the city of St. Louis, and I'm very glad to be here. And on behalf of the people of St. Louis, I want to welcome all the employees here at Space. Certainly want to uh, thank uh, and welcome uh, Tom and, and Mike uh, as well for their uh, belief in the city and their commitment to the city of St. Louis. Uh, to, to be frank, Space is in the business that belongs in, this, in a business that belongs in the city of St. Louis. And I think uh, you'll, you can easily see why. Space's tagline is making the world a better place one space at a time could be adopted by the city of St. Louis. In terms of address, space has only been a city business for a short period of time. But in terms of beliefs, work ethic, creativity, support for fellow entrepreneurs, space has been a city business from the very start. I tweet pretty frequently, uh, but someone at, at uh, Space tweets almost nonstop, it seems. <laughs> they tweet about new projects, but they also tweet about the importance of uh, supporting other city businesses, uh, of uh, doing things in, from an environmentally and friendly way, uh, also um, buying local, and their excitement for their new space. And I appreciate that very much. I think the Grove is an excellent place and an excellent fit for your business. The Grove has made great strides within the last few years, and now your employees will have a number of great dining establishments to enjoy uh, lunch or dinner, and are neighbored by and you're neighbored by other excellent, ambitious businesses. Space is the type of business that can r really thrive in this area, and is the kind of business this neighborhood really needs uh, to prove that it isn't just an up-and-coming entertainment district. Uh, but that it's an established neighborhood with serious business investments that are here for the long run. I'd like to thank you for moving into the city of St. Louis. It's a brave move, but it's not one that has been overlooked. I firmly believe the city is going to continue to grow in population, in business, and in prestige within the next 10 years. More and more reports are coming out saying that people, especially younger people, prefer to live in an urban core, and that obviously bodes well for the city of St. Louis. Exciting things are happening here. Space will have a long, successful tenure in the city of St. Louis. I'm confident of that. I want to thank you for the move. I want to congratulations. I want to congratulate you on, your, on what's happening now and for future successes. Uh, I am extremely impressed with the design of this building and the space here. Uh, I'm particularly impressed with what you've done to, uh, to for for sustainability and environmental responsibility in terms of heating and cooling and all the other things you did and in terms of historic uh, preservation of a building. Thank you for doing that as well. I'd like to uh, now present the spirit uh, of St. Louis Award to space. I'd like to thank Tom Niemeyer and Mike Benz for their commitment to the city and I want to thank all the employees uh, for being here. We do appreciate your presence and uh, you are a very, very important part of our community. You deserve the award, and I see many, many more awards, awards uh, for you in this business in the future. Thank you so much. I do want to recognize, before I pass on the microphone, uh, a few people that are here. Uh, Rodney Krim from St. Louis Development Corporation. We have a lot, of, a lot of people from St. Louis Development Corporation that are here, and a lot of people from city government uh, who are um, instrumental in our ability to work with business, uh, to make St. Louis a more business-friendly uh, community, and a place that's more attractive for people to live. Uh, we also have Tom Gravalia from the um, controller's office who is with us. And uh, if there's anybody else that I missed, uh, we, we, we are, I want you to know that we do appreciate, uh, as, oh, Alderman Rohde's here. I didn't see Alderman. Well, I can tell you that uh, I've worked with Alderman Rohde now for over 20 years. Uh, he provides great leadership, not only here in the neighborhood, but also at the Board of Aldermen. And uh, Joe, good to have you here. Sorry I didn't see you. Uh, but you certainly do deserve some recognition and appreciation for all your work. All right. Well, uh Thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. We're, uh, we're certainly excited to be here. Uh, we're, um, and and we're, we're very fortunate, I think, to be here. It's, it's been, uh, as I'm sure 
many of you uh, can attest it, it's been a it's been a tough economic road the past couple of years and uh, especially for the architectural community and you know we were able to pull this project off and uh, you know we could not have done it ourselves uh, there's been um, there's a board over there that has a list of dozens of people dozens of companies that, that helped us uh, and, and it's been fantastic uh, you know when uh, when we first started out uh, when our lease was running up in uh, Maplewood we had a dream of of owning our own property. That was uh, that was something really important to us, and uh, so we we began our search, I guess about a year ago, right, Mike? And uh, we looked all over. We looked over the St. Louis County, uh, Webster, Brentwood, Maplewood. Uh, we looked in the city, and um, really, uh, when when you put all of the factors together of what we we're looking for, as far as you know, we needed more room. Uh, we were looking for a community that that had an identity, but a community that maybe wasn't quite there. Uh, we, we wanted a place that we could make an impact. Uh, even, even a small firm like us, you know, we, we still wanted to be in a place that, that we could make an impact. And um, given all those conditions, uh, it led us right here to the Kentucky building. Um, we found, you know, with the Grove that uh, it already had some good momentum. There was already some energy. It, it was, uh, we kind of viewed it as it's a melting pot of diversity for St. Louis, which you know, we really like, we think more of that needs to happen. Um, so we ended up signing a contract for this building. And um, so we started the process of working with the city. And uh, one of the first uh, people we started talking to is Pat Bannister, who's here somewhere. Where is he? There he is, Pat. St. Louis Development Corporation uh, and Aaron Long. Because um, we needed help. Uh, we, uh, we were facing a uh, a workload projection uh, you know in the office that was shrinking um, the economy you know just just was pottering along and so you know to, to make this dream a reality we, we needed help so uh, working with Pat uh, we were able to get a low interest loan um, and a forgivable loan we were able to get a, a facade grant to help us with the exterior of the building and um, things really started to fall together um, we, we started construction of the building where, you know, we, we had to submit drawings for permit. We have inspections for, for the, you know, for mechanical, electrical, plumbing. Um, and really, our dealings with the city uh, could not have gone smoother. We, we really, we, we hit very few hiccups along the road. Uh, we, we heard, the you know, when we started telling people, hey, we're moving, we're moving into the city. You know, you hear the naysayers. You hear the people that are like, oh, you know. Uh, you're going to have trouble with this and that, and you know it just that's not that's not what we experienced. So I I, I want to make sure I share that and get that out there that it, it has really been smooth. Uh, in addition to the loans uh, and the help and assistance we got from St. Louis Development Corporation, uh, we were also successful in getting brownfield tax credits and uh, historic state and federal tax credits, which is critical. Uh, for us to bring the building to the level of quality that you see. I mean, we, we could have done this project without it, but it would not have been to this level. I doubt if we would have had an energy uh, system like we have. Speaking of the energy system, I know I, I filled uh, Mayor Slay up with a lot of detail with it, but um, I just wanted to, to share a few details about it, uh, just so you know, because we want to spread the word about this system. It's, it's really, it's unlike any, any other in St. Louis, and in fact, parts of it have never been done anywhere. Um, in particular, um, the chilling fins that you see, the aluminum chilling fins that you see around the perimeter here, that's, that's our cooling system. We, we, we do not have duct work except for one little section back there. Um, no forced air, we're not blowing dust, we're not creating drafts, we're, we're literally using these fins to absorb the heat from the building and, and take it out. Um, we've got 15 geothermal wells out in the parking lot, 200 feet deep, that uh, will dissipate the heat in the earth naturally. Uh, we have solar tubes, which we, you see a couple of samples um, over here, that uh, they're, they're not trying to generate electricity. They're, they're, they're taking water and they're heating it and it's like really natural for the sun to do that you're not trying to convert anything it's just it's using the natural energy and uh, it's taking that hot water down into a storage tank and then in the winter time it's going to be pumped through our radiant floor system that you all are standing on right now um, so 
we think it's a it's going to be a great system. Our our uh, energy models show that we're gonna we're gonna spend about two thousand dollars for the year in our heating and cooling costs, which for a 7,500 square foot building with tall ceilings and, and a lot of volume is amazing. So we're excited about all of that. Um, there's a few people that I, I'd like to recognize to make this project a reality. Um, one is uh, Matt Lung. Where are you, Matt? Matt Lung over there. He's our construction supervisor for uh, Space Constructors. We were the general contractor on this job as well as the architect. Um, I can tell you Matt put his life on hold for the past three or four months of this project. He worked seven days a week, 14 hours a day, and he got the project done on the day that we scheduled to get it done, exactly to the day. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Amy Huff. Amy, Amy's right over there. Amy was our project architect. Uh, she handled um, a whole lot of moving parts with this project, w with all the uh, financial incentives, the historic tax credits, um, as well as the day-to-day -day architectural management. Uh, she just, you know, she's a taskmaster, and she got it done, and she did an amazing job. So thank you, Amy. And uh, Tom Young and uh, Mike Benz, Mike's right there, Tom Young's right there. They are responsible for a lot of the great design that you see around you. Um, many people in our office touched this job. Uh, I just mentioned the people that had the most critical roles in it. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention Steve Hunsiger, who uh, didn't really work on this project much, although he did hook up the TVs. <laughs> And he got the PlayStation working, which was critical. Uh, but what he did was he continued to bring in work, great work, great healthcare work that enabled us to stay afloat and, and keep this project going uh, when most projects were, were not going. But Steve managed to keep things going. Which was, couldn't have done it. So uh, anyway, I want to I want to just thank Mayor Slay again for being here. We we appreciate it very much for, for the recognition, and uh, thank you to the City of St. Louis and the St. Louis Development Corporation. You guys have been fantastic, and we're excited to be here. Uh, we're not done. We we've got a lot more dreams out there, and uh, we uh, can't wait to get started. A year ago or so, I encouraged Tom. We we looked at dozens of buildings, like Tom said. I saw okay. Oh. I encouraged Tom to look at this building after we looked at several buildings. And um, so Tom came down. He first didn't want to look at it, came down, fell in love with the neighborhood, decided to go forward with it. Then after that, weeks turned into months of a bad economy and, and slow, you know, slow project buildings, et cetera, et cetera. And I became a chicken heart. <laughs> and I said, Tom, what are we doing? Should we do this? Should we do this? And Tom said, we're doing it. We have to do it. We have to have faith. So Talk about putting our life on hold. Tom put his life on hold too, and if it wasn't for his perseverance and optimism and uh, hard work, we wouldn't have had this space. So thanks, Tom. Thank you. Right. Yeah, in closing, um, I think you've demonstrated that this is a very quality organization just by the way you handled this project. Uh, your creativity, uh, your ability to uh, do quality things with, you know, in a very difficult environment, and uh, you obviously have a very, very quality. Uh, and competent team of people working with you as well. So it looks like you have all the, the, um, the components of, of success. I wish you all the very best in the future. And every, to everyone that works here, on behalf of the people of St. Louis, we are so pleased to have you here, and I wish you the very best as well. Thank you.